This is Times Square, one of the world's most popular tourist attractions, having almost half a million people passing by daily. It will be in just this though to now talk about the homeless people who are currently here and this is where they sleep daily. Hey, you say you were homeless for a while, right? Yeah. How many years? 18 years. Well, what drugs are you addicted to? Molly, Angel Dust, Percocets, K2. They can't even get in shelters right now because all the shelters are being taken by the migrants. They're getting free um, a ticket to, to the United States. They're getting free housing, free room and board, free meals. Are you an immigrant? I am an immigrant. Nobody gives them food, any water. The people just think they're just sick and that's it. Today we're tackling a pressing issue that affects thousands in the heart of one of the world's most busiest cities, homelessness in New York City. Homelessness now in New York, it reached its highest level in 20 years. The problem of the lack of housing is a crisis in New York City and across the country. Despite its glitz and glamour, New York City faces a significant homelessness crisis with many struggling to find a place to sleep each night. New data shows that around 70% of homeless individuals who have been moved into shelters have left within a week of being admitted. In this video, we'll explore the causes, share personal stories, and discuss potential solutions to this complex problem. Join me as we uncover the harsh realities of homelessness in the city that never sleeps. I'm homeless for two years by choice. I just, um, I choose, I choose to take accountability for my own, take accountability for my own actions, and and I don't uh, um, like lean on other people for uh, help. Yeah, but right now, do you think that you need help? What do you want from this? Whatever life we have to offer. I feel like I've done everything I could uh, for uh, for myself and everybody. Do you work? No, nah, not right now. I got pending charges. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm in court. I got, I'm on probation in two different states. I did. Um, three and a half years for a robbery. And, um, and after that, I was clean. I didn't go to jail for three years until I went to Rhode Island. And then I, I got fucked up. I fucked up and then I, I started, I went to jail like five times for like a little, little small violation time. Um, for 45 days, 45, 60, 60. And then um, I haven't been in jail since. But, uh, you got family that you could go back to, to stay with or not? I got a son, I got a son, so. Oh, where your son at? He's dead. Uh, you use drugs? Negative. You've been out on the streets for 18 years. 18 years, my man. Right now, what are you waiting for? Housing. See that blue box, the blue box down there. So it's lemonade water, so I go there and help me out. How long have you been waiting on that? Uh, a while. I know I'm getting the shitty neighborhood. Everybody's telling me, you know, not to do it. I'm asking for a transfer. It takes him a long time to give me a transfer. So when you get housing, are you trying to stay there or stay there to get back on your feet so you can get your absolutely, own place? Absolutely, 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 to get back on my feet, okay. get my own place. I have my certificate and stuff out here right now. Everything of mine got stolen out here. I have a vendor license too. And what's your dream? What would you like to do for yourself? Money, money, just that's all it is. That's what I learned, I learned out here. How much you want to make a year? At least 90. I got a construction or something. Up here is like dead up here, you know? My name is Lance, I've been out here for like a couple weeks. I always experienced being homeless as a teenager. I went through a lot of psychosis and drug problems. I went through problems with my mom because my mom told me a lot of stuff and I have a rebellious personality that led me to the streets, you feel me? Then I've been out here just trying to thug it out and defend on my own. And How old were you when you first, you know, got out on the streets? I was 17. How old are you now? I'm 27. When did you realize, oh shit, I fucked up? Probably like three years ago three years ago, when my brain started developing and I started thinking differently. I was manipulated to think a certain way, and that manipulation led me to, to here right now, selling drugs and all of that. Like, selling drugs to survive turned me to a drug addict. Well, what drugs are you addicted to? Right now, only weed and alcohol, but I did more drugs like Molly, Angel Dust, Percocets, K2. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but if I were to give you a donation right now, what are the chances you're gonna use it on drugs? Zero percent. Honestly, I, I think I smoked yesterday or something like that, but I have the power now 
Like my brain is more developed. I don't have to use drugs. And I know it's about survival. I'm living in the street. That drugs is only going to damage me more than it's going to help me. So I'd rather buy food and stuff like that than buy drugs. It's not going to do nothing for me. It's going to make me weaker. Do you think the homeless people here contribute a lot to the crime rate in New York? I think homeless people do contribute to the crime rate, but it's, it's not their fault because they're homeless. You feel me? They got to eat. So when you got to eat and you can't go nowhere to get no food, you're going to go around and you're going to start taking it. How often you you eat a day? How many square meals? I do pretty good. Go to, um, you know, going to be going to welfare tomorrow. No, uh, Monday. So how many times a day you eat? Do I really eat? I go to church. You think uh, your religion is helping you, you know, stay afloat and stuff? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I pay my faith in the higher power because I've been through, like, rehabilitation for mental health. AA and stuff like that, but they always say, put your faith in God, put your faith in a higher power. My name is George. You said you were homeless for a while, right? Yeah, about like 15. How did your status change? The people that helped me get it, they used to come around and see us, and they hook us up with a place. I used to use drugs back in the days, but my willpower, I don't get high or nothing no more. How, how did you break it? Myself. Are you happy with the government and the present, you know, current state of things in, in New York? No, not really. But there's, what? Nothing I, there's nothing I can do about it. Just go along with it. As long as I take care of myself, that's yeah. what, that what matters to me. Yeah, but what, what do you think are some of the things, you know, wrong with the with New York, you know? It's the homeless. And the, and, the, and the government is just bringing on other people instead of helping the people that need help. I, I'm born and raised here, so okay. I'm going to stay here. As a New York native, what do you think about the homeless here? I don't think they're a menace to society. I feel like they're, they need help. Yeah. They need mental help. They need medication. They need shelters. There's a lot of people here, homeless people, who have no family, have nothing, and they're out here trying to survive. They can't even get in shelters right now because all the shelters are being taken by the migrants. How many years you've been in New York? 25. Before, before I sat down, I've been sitting down for five years, but before, I'm back here because I lived in the bus. Mm. And then Penn Station, I go, spend the night for a couple hours. I stay with the police to see what's going on. The, they're under construction, not this one, Penn Station. Okay, and you stay with the police. Right. How about food? How do you eat? I used to be in social security. So you get paycheck? Right. Are you American? I became an immigrant years ago. Have you heard about like the immigration crisis? You know, people coming from different yeah, countries. Yeah, yeah. And like they get housing real quick. I'm not, I'm not mad. We're like in the same boat, but I guess their situation is dangerous yeah. even more. At yeah. like the border, there's no food there. Yeah. I, go in, I go in church. To me, I think it's, they bringing in too many immigrants over here from different, you know, different countries. Yeah. And they looking out for them quicker. That's fucked up. Tell you the truth. It's, it's all, no, it is all about money. This country's no, nothing but about money. It's been like that before me and you were born anyway. It's all about money. Man. Someone told me America is not a country, it's a business. It is, it is. All the migrants are taking all the shelters, all the hotels are being closed up for the migrant sheltering. I have a very big problem with that <laughs> because I feel like we need to help New York first. And you know, and we got a whole bunch of people coming here, hundreds of people coming over here and we're helping them and we forgot about our own people that need help. Let me you play know. the devil's advocate. Are you an immigrant? I am an immigrant. I am an immigrant. <laughs> we came here in 1984. But there's a big difference because we didn't get nothing handed out to us. We didn't get nothing for free. My father paid for all our expenses. And the migrants are now getting everything for free. They're getting free um, a ticket to the United States. They're getting free housing, free room and board, free meals, free health benefits, free EBT cards, free food stamps, whatever. And I feel like that's not fair. We have a lot of people that are working here, blue collar people, and they are struggling, and we don't have nothing for free. I feel so bad for them because, um, I don't know, maybe they have mental issues and nobody helping them, like nobody give them food, any water. The people just think they're just sick and that's it. Do you feel safe or do you think, you know, they're a threat to you as a pedestrian? No, I just feel safe because they don't have the... It's fine. How about in the train stations as well? No, I don't feel safe. I've also seen like on the news and shit. Personally, when I was living out in New York, people who are homeless here tend to be aggressive. I've had someone, you know, spit in my face, yeah. pour me milk and shit. Why do you think that is? Why are they aggravated? This is New York City. Like, it's, it's full with a lot of like, negative vibes and energy, you feel me? And 
this is all like about a city about you feel me it's, it's competition and currency and stuff like that so people don't look at you with status unless you got money and stuff i hope you don't face any crime like people stealing your stuff I face that a lot used to you know they want to take the luggage but i've been searching for a while i don't have money i don't have that more it's what i get from the city <laughs> yeah who? the dumpster you know i'm surviving you take stuff from the dumpster like i things people don't really need like I could use a, like I've been wrapped last time, and I could use a blanket, you know, something they don't really need. Yeah. So I washed it and used it. Like, like it's, it's fine. Like, but like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. fine, but in the train, it's not fine. If someone wants to help you right now, how can they help you? Uh, I'm alright for now. You don't need help. I need help, but I'm on my way to get to get my finances back. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and comment with your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. See y'all soon. Good luck and um, have a good life. That's about it.